I'm Dr. Bertie Spear, and I want to tell you a story. Years ago, like many years ago, like back in my 20s years ago, I went out with um, a friend for lunch. He wanted, he asked if he could go out with me, and I was like, okay. He was funny, he made me laugh, good storyteller. And so we went to lunch, and I ordered tea, and I asked if they had honey. And they said, yeah, we'll be right back. And so he said, what are you going to do with the honey? I said, for my tea. And he was like, honey, in your tea? What? And I was like, uh, keep your voice down. Yeah, I'm going to put honey in my tea. And he was like, who ever heard of putting honey in the tea? And he laughed. And he just had a good old time. And he got loud and was like, kept going. You go, what else you gonna put the honey on? Ah. And I was like, ah. So at the end of lunch, which was kind of quick, he wanted to know if I wanted to go out again. And I was like, no, that's okay. And he said, why not? And I said, honey in my tea. And he was like, what? So, what? And so then he kind of changed things around. He said, I can't believe you're not going to go out with me because you like honey in your tea. I said, no. It doesn't have anything about to do with what I like. It has to do with the fact that you heard something you didn't know, which is cool. I learned things every day I didn't know. But your reaction, instead of saying, wow, I've never heard of that, was to try to put me down. And if honey in the tea is that much of a surprise to you, you got a world of surprises coming. So he called again over um, several months trying to convince me that I should go out with him. And I was like, no, really, that's okay. I'm good. I don't, I don't feel like being put down because of what I know or what I do or who I am. I don't feel like that. And I certainly am not going to do that in a relationship. Well, many, many years later, many, like a few years ago, I heard from him. And he contacted me to tell me thank you. He said whenever he encountered something he wasn't familiar with, he would say, Oh, this is honey in the tea. And he said, I now drink honey in my tea. And he said, and I have traveled all over the world. Um, he said, every year I take a new amazing trip to places I've never heard of, never seen. He said, I have a, a biracial family. He married someone from Japan. And he had just done all of these really fascinating, amazing things throughout the world um, and in his hometown because he said he thought about it and thought about it. And in his family, if somebody did something, read something, was doing anything that was a little different, they all made fun of him. And he said, and I was living my life the same way. And what you taught me was instead of looking at a different culture, a different way, a different life with disdain to just wonder enough about it to explore it. Yeah, that was a gift that I didn't even know I needed. Um, even now, I, I don't really, I have only so much space in my brain, right? I'm trying to put new folds in it, new ideas and new ways of thinking. But if someone else's life, their culture, their ways, just existence is different from yours, instead of saying, that's stupid, maybe we should say, <laughs> I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> Don't call yourself stupid. Just be curious enough to look it up. Like, I know you're going to send me, some of you are going to have messages saying, who's this? 
And who is that? You do reverse image searches on people you've been trying to look up. <laughs> do the same. <laughs> and go put some honey in your tea. I think knowledge is like honey in the tea. Because life is going to happen anyway. And finding out about it is the sweetness. I love you.